Hello everyone and welcome to a new adventure in Midnight Scenes, which is a first in a series of horror games about scenes from midnight. But today's adventure takes place with one protagonist named Claire, who's going to be doing some things and probably getting in trouble because this wouldn't be a horror game, which I think I mentioned or might not have. It wouldn't be a horror game if it wasn't getting some bad things and be getting in trouble. But don't worry, I'm a professional. Oh, Claire, Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover the kind of horror that lurks in the darkness of a deserted road. Because why you don't drive on deserted roads, okay? It's just, just bad. It's gonna ruin your sweet tooth, all right? It's gonna ruin your appetite for dinner because you're eating too much deserted road. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Okay, moving on. A flat tire the lady Claire's trip. Little she suspects how <laughs> this little incident will change her life forever, as well her perception of reality. I don't like these warnings. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, I'm gonna fiddle with the radio. Oh, what is this? It's the menu. Okay. What is this? Should it be changing stations? Oh, <laughs> why did that scare me? Why did that scare me? I'm two on edge already. Jesus, someone, someone sent help. I'm, I'm not in a good mind. Tonight's episode, The Highway. So this is like portrayed like a TV show. It's pretty interesting actually. I don't think I've seen that kind of take on things. Oh. Huh. Wow. Someone should probably call an electrician or a mailman or pretty much anyone more qualified to deal with this situation than I am, which would be anyone. Why aren't you just run up to it? That's totally dangerous. They tell you not to go to a down power line. That's like rule one of what not to do. As ex an unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Again, contact anyone, your mayor, local congressman. I don't even know the Pope, anyone. Just, I, I'm not going near it. I'm not qualified to deal with this. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Ooh. So where's your lock? That's very convenient. What time frame are we in that is signal phones? Am I gonna touch that? <laughs> Claire! What the fuck? Claire! What? What is wrong with you? Okay, what is this? Oh. Hello? What is this? That looks terrifying. No, thank you. Goodbye. Get in the car. Oh. Drive away? No. Oh, what is this? Oh, I, I didn't know I could go over here. Okay. Oh, this is this is the same picture as the creepy one, but not creepy. What is this? Okay. It's the same picture again. Who is this kid? Why is his face gone? That is really unsettling. Okay. Who? Wait. Who's whose place am I breaking into? Oh. Oh, okay, so that's what happened. Someone crashed. Okay. What is this? Does it just send me back? Yep. Okay. So I'm trying to solve a murder scene. I don't think I'm qualified for this. Again, I need a key? What is, it? What is this? A hammer? Why am I stealing this person's stuff? I should just call the police, right? There's an emergency phone on like the other side of this fence. Why don't I just hop the fence, not break into all of their stuff? What is this? What is this? I don't understand what this means. Oh, hello. Scarecrow. And there's a house. He looks really happy. Okay. All right. Oh, this is Scarecrow. You look happy. Not as happy as you looked like in the picture. Can I pass your face in? Can I draw you up with some string? Okay, nope. What is this? Okay. Oh, do I give you an arm? Okay. There you go. Good as new. I, I guess. Are you proud of me? Oh. Oh! I'm supposed to do with his arms to get the fence to open, right? So, like. Ooh! Ah, there we go. Totally guessing. <laughs> I could have gone back and looked at the note, but that's for suckers. Also, is there anything I missed over here? I think there was. What is this? Oh, so this is the 
this is the kid in the family. We're all in the pictures. So I guess he lived at this farm. Why is there blood on it? Well, I guess there wasn't a car accident, so that makes total sense, actually. So, the kid went missing? That lived at this farm? Okay. Probably shouldn't be falling. Okay, I probably shouldn't be just breaking into this house, following a trail of blood. Again, wasn't there a phone, like, back there? I don't have to break in this person's house. I'm just doing it for fun, right? At this point, I'm just a criminal, so I don't really care what happens to Claire. I mean, we could be trying to, like, you know, do the right thing and find out what happened to this family, but I, I'm gonna just assume that I'm doing no good and... Well, okay, this is a classic picture of the family, alright? We know we're gonna just break into this person's house to, like, steal their TV or something. Oh. Fuzzy. Okay. Oh, this is the truck not smashed up. Okay. No. Anyone home? I'm going to choose to ignore the bloody body. Oh, backyard. Maybe I should check out the body. Hello. How's it? Nope. 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 That's a hundred percent nope. Okay, what is this? Oh, I can't reach it. The board. Got a board. Sweet. I don't have a nail. Can I nail the board to the thingy? Well, I need a nail. Oh! Oh, hey! That was very convenient. <laughs> okay, so do I combine? Aha! And then bang, bang, bang. Wow, I'm such a handyman. Or handy Claire. Get the, get the thing. No, use the... Use the ladder to get the thing, you silly Claire. Climb the thing. Why am I getting this again? Oh, is this because I need a light to see the dead body? I don't know why. Okay. I'm just really interested, you know? Who needs to call the police when you got Claire on the case? Was there anything over here? I don't need to take the horseshoe. Like, throw it at someone. I'll take any weapon I can get. Is there anything else back here? I like to try and be thorough in these games, but... Okay. Uh. What? Why are you not freaking out? I'm freaking out and I'm not even there! Oh, he is dead. You are dead. Um... Do you have a key? Ah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs> This is really unnerving and really weird. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Claire's really calm about this whole situation. Like, she's just not giving a fuck. Like, this is just her normal Friday commute. She's like, gotta get home, work run late, I need to feed my fish, and you know, I gotta catch up on the season of um, Desperate Housewives of whatever century this is. And I just, I, I just gotta get into this person's house, you know, it's dead body, it's not my problem, I, I need to go watch Netflix. Alright, so we I got this. So now what do I do? Do I cut the wire? Do I use this to cut the thing, or do I have to be on the other side? I guess I have to be on the other side, right? Now I can cut this, and go through, because this is totally normal. That... Would that electrocute you? I'm not really sure. I did all that work to get to a phone that I could have clearly hopped the fence, like, from the other side. Like, th th there was an easier way to go about this whole thing, Claire. Oh, the phone's not not there. It's over here. Oh, this is a down tree. Holy, holy crap. Uh, what? What the hell happened here? You got nothing to say about that, Claire? You got nothing to say about all this. Oh, what is this? What is all this? A map? Is this where the treasure is in this cave thing? Okay. Alright. Hello. Oh, so this is like... Are these like hospital workers? Who are you? What is... I don't... I don't know what these mean. Alright, gonna call the phone. Oh, it's just the kid again. How do I ring the phone? Hello? How do I... I don't know how these phones work. Uh, 999. Is it this? How do I... Hello? I don't... I don't think this phone's working. Do I have to get something? Oh! I can't back away. 
I can't <laughs> use the phone. Use the phone. If if you at any time is an emergency, this is the time. Nope, not gonna use the phone. Okay. Hello. My name's Claire. Is your name also Claire? Cause you know fellow Claire's would never hurt each other, right? Hello. Why am I going to touch her? Oh, she's electrocuting me. Claire's a fucking badass, man. She does not care. Some ghost demon child just appears out of nowhere and almost electrocutes you, and she wants to touch it. Like, that's her inclination. It's like, I'm gonna touch this thing. Like, what is wrong with Claire? I think Claire is a sociopath. She doesn't care about a murder scene. She doesn't care about, like, breaking into people's houses. She literally just saw a demon and just like, I'm gonna touch this. I don't know what's wrong. What's wrong with me? Oh, oh. Oh, it's the picture. It's the person from the, the, the house? Wait. Was that a... F Age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. What, what is so important about her journey? Like, where are we going? It's home? Anywhere important? Still terrified. I don't think she was terrified. I didn't see a, a blink. I didn't see her blink in the face of a dead body or a demon ghost. Like, I don't think she was terrified. She stopped at the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform them about the disturbing events that she had just witnessed. Okay. Why didn't I use the telephone? Well, I guess the phone was out. That, that's probably why there was nothing beside it. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. What? Sense of any crash or presence of any mysterious kid. What? The man living the farm was found a bit drunk, but in good condition. He was clearly dead. Like, missing his face kind of dead. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. Well, yeah, because no one believes that it happened. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Like an alternate reality? Like an alternate story? Well, not story, but Midnight Scene to the Highway. That is like something straight out of the Twilight Zone. Like an entire stretch of road of horrible events. Death and missing kids and crashes and everything. That's just not really there, but it might be like a possibility of something that could have happened. And no one would ever know. Like, what if we're living among all of these alternate dimensions filled with horrible or good things and we just don't know it? But maybe some people have seen it. Oh, that's a weird thing to think about. Be the way, thank you all so much for joining me in today's adventure in Midnight Scenes of the Highway. I cannot wait to play the rest of these games because this was really, really well done. So I will leave a link to the game in the description if you also want to follow along with the game. Because I know I will, but... In case you want to play for yourself or just follow along with the development, link will be in the description. Be the way, thank you all so much for joining me in today's adventure. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy the rest of your day as well. Hope you see you in the next adventure. Bye bye.